Yes, yeah, so we're looking at this question. We have f of x equals the cube root of x. We want to find the derivative at a for a not equal to zero. And I think to approach this question, uh, the hint being f prime of a, we want to use this uh, derivation of the derivative that we get through looking at secant lines. And here also I'm going to use the fact that the cube root of x is x to the one-third power. Uh, so that would look like then, limit as x approaches a, x to the one-third power minus a to the one-third power over x minus a. It's not clear uh, how to simplify this. If you plug in a, you get zero over zero. But how do you do the algebra here? Uh, a simple conjugate will not take care of this problem. So what we'll do is a clever trick that's not quite obvious, unless you know how to factor out the difference of cubes, which you could do here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x to the two-thirds plus x to the one-third, a to the one-third, plus a to the two-thirds. And I have that same thing in the denominator. Okay, now the reason that helps uh, it doesn't look like it helps much in the denominator, but let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's look at the numerator. So at first, I'm going to distribute this x to the one-third power across three things. And what I do, remember you add exponents. So x to the one-third times x to the two-thirds is x to the three-thirds, or just x to the first power. The middle term we have, adding the, ter the exponents, we get x to the one-third times x to the one-third, a to the one-third, gives me x to the two-thirds, a to the one-third. And then lastly, we have x to the one-third, a to the two-thirds. Now, I'm going to distribute the a's across here. And remember, I'm distributing at negative a. So I get negative x to the two-thirds, a to the one-third. I get uh, negative x to the one-third, a to the two-thirds. And I get a minus a to the three-thirds power, or just x minus a. And all that's over x minus a times x to the two-thirds plus x to the one-third, a to the one-third, plus a to the two-thirds. Okay, from this point, uh, I think you can see what's going to happen. We have the x to the two-thirds and a to the one-third subtract out. We have x to the one-third, a to the two-thirds subtract out. And all I'm left with is x minus a. So the x minus a in the numerator cancels out with the x minus a down here in the denominator because it's all being multiplied together. So this is the limit as x approaches a of 1 over x to the 2 thirds plus x to the 1 third, a to the 1 third, plus a to the 2 thirds. If I substitute in a now, which I'm allowed to do because I don't get a domain problem, I end up with a to the 2 thirds plus a to the one-third times a to the one-third is a to the two-thirds plus a to the two-thirds. In other words, I have three of those. So I have one, uh, I'll write it this way, one over three a to the two-thirds. Or another way you could say that is one-third uh, a to the negative two-thirds. Because remember, anytime you have a negative power, that's the same as one over x to that power. Alright, I hope this makes sense, and if you have questions, just let me know.